Back in After Effects, let's go ahead and load up our shot. Double click here. Select my ping sequence. First thing you're going to notice, as I mentioned before, it comes in at 30 frames per second. Now we know that this was 24 frames per second. So I'm going to right click here, go to Interpret Footage, Main. I'm going to get this dialog, and we're going to click on 24 here and hit Enter. And it changes this to 24 frames per second. Drag that into the new comp. And there we go. I can't stress enough how important this is because if you mess this up, you're going to have real problems when you try to comp all this together. Okay, so let's go ahead and key this guy up. I'm going to create a garbage mat. I'm going to grab my pen tool, come over here, maybe do something like that. There we go. Okay, we've got something like this. Let's just go over here, hit M for mask. Set the mask path keyframe at the beginning. We're going to need to move this around. And we want to make sure that none of this is in frame. Pull that over. So we've got to do a little roto work here, which is not fun ever, but it has to be done. Get this over. Something like that. All right, let's pull this out. Got to watch out for that part. I hate rotoscoping, but unfortunately, it's just one of those things that you got to do sometimes. And you want to make sure that he stays in all the time. Okay, comes way out here. Let's go ahead and grab these three points. From way out over here. And then we can bring these back in. Maybe something like that. All right, now we come out again over here. Let's just grab that one point, something like that. That's coming out right there, too. I'm going to grab these points, pull that out, come back over here, and I think that's about it. There we go. Okay, I think we're good to go here. So I'm going to come over here into my effects and presets, type in color range, and I'm going to drop that on my footage. I'm going to grab some of my green here, and I'm going to keep adding to that just by hitting the plus. All right, let's come down here. Go ahead and grab that again. Just keep adding to that selection. Got that. Get this little piece down here. Maybe zoom in so that we can see it. All right. Okay. There we go. I think we've got most of it. All right. Now what I want to do is apply a simple choker to this. I want to take the choke mat into a negative direction. I get something like that. Now I'm going to grab key light. Put it on here. And we'll grab this green. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add about one pixel blur. I'm going to change my view from final result to screen mat. So I can see what we've got going on here. I'm going to clip my blacks down like that. And take my white up a little bit. Come back to the final result. And there we go. Got Steve doing his thing. So what we need to do now is just select this, go to Comp, Add to Render Queue. Make sure that you choose a format that's going to support your transparency. So if I was going to do a ping sequence, make sure that you have RGB plus alpha, or it will not export your alpha channel, which you definitely need. 1280 by 720. Click OK, tell it where you want it to go, and you are done. On the next exercise, we're going to be in Photoshop, and we're going to put our little stylized treatment on Steve and the warehouse.